All right, CJ, obviously a tough loss to Laval tonight. Just take me through how you saw this game for your team. Um, you know, I thought it was a pretty solid game. Um, we had our chances um, in the first. Um, you know, we came out strong and um, we were peppering them. And um, yeah, I feel like it was a tough game. Um, it was physical. Um, we kind of expected it to be that way. We kind of expected it to kind of be like a hard um, kind of Canadian division team. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I'd say like for the most part, it was just a, a tough game that kind of went both ways back and forth. They had their chances, they had rushes. We kind of gave up some of those. We made a couple mistakes and ultimately they capitalized them and it was kind of a battle to get back from there. But ultimately I thought we had our chances and, and they just didn't go in and sometimes nights happen like that. And it looked like there were a lot of posts too. So is that sort of frustrating or does that sort of give you more, maybe a little bit more motivation knowing just you're that close to generating chances? Like you said, there are so many of them, but just uh, unfortunately some of them posting out instead of posting in, I guess. Right. Um, it can get frustrating for sure. Um, you wish they go the other way and um, that could change the game. Um, it, instead of being down, we could be up and um, I try not to dwell on it too much. It, it sucks. That's for sure. Um, you hope they go in and you just got to focus on kind of what you're doing right and um, ultimately we're getting chances with those and maybe they they're not going in now but they will in the future so we just got to stick with it and keep getting those shots of the net Jimmy also mentioned about how against like, a Canadian team it's going to be like that is that a matter of like last year the bubble like, I don't know if their roster is the same at all but is that a contributing factor or just I don't know because you're on the same division so I'm wondering how that kind of factors in yeah I think it's just a style of play um, you know I think teams in the Canadian division generally are built a certain way and especially down here um, they're kind of especially with Laval they always play tough and, and they always like to get on the body get on the forecheck and, and really play a hard game and, and a solid sound game and I think that's what we're used to playing against kind of those teams. Obviously you know there's always stretch like this where you have a lot of games in short amount of span but I think that a day off tomorrow is really well needed for this group just given you got another series coming up this weekend. Yeah any day off during a stretch like this is going to be big um, for our mind and our body. Um, it's huge kind of using it as a reset uh, mentally and physically. Um, the guys need it and um, hopefully we can reset and get back to kind of going on our streaking ways and kind of get back to playing our hockey, getting on the four check and kind of continuing what we're doing, but hopefully getting a couple more wins. Um, obviously, you know, a game like that was chippy and whatnot. Was it was the frustration kind of mounting when you see Mikey get hit in the head there at one point and Harold's, you know, take that big hit as well? Like when it's something like, like a headshot in a game, heat a moment, does that make it that much more frustrating kind of in the, in the middle of the battle? Mm, I, I don't know about frustrating kind of for me. I think it, I think it just kind of sets a tone for the, what the rest of the game is going to be like. Um, you hate to see anything happen like that to your teammate. Hope Harold's is okay and Mikey, but yeah, it's, it's fr I guess it, it is frustrating. But at the same time, you can't get overheated about it. You got to treat it the right way and kind of go back at them the right way, um, whether it's on the scoreboard or whether it's doing it the right way with another teammate. Um, it's it's kind of knowing where you're at in the game and kind of sticking to it. And I think using it the right way, um, whether it's motivation um, to kind of get back at them is, is, is the right way to do it. But you hate seeing someone go down like that, especially a teammate. Hopefully, Harold's is fine and that was a big hit and it's it's kind of you hate to see it. Last one for me, uh, Morgan Barron, uh, obviously uh, he had that nice primary assist on Gatsy's goal and he's been with you guys for a couple games now. What do you think about, obviously he's starting to get comfortable with this game, especially kind of what he brought for your club. Yeah, he's a big body who, who kind of goes to the hard areas and, and is hard on, in the corners and moves well. Um, I, I love playing with him so far. It's, it's, it's a treat kind of seeing him work in the corners and kind of through the neutral zone already and hopefully we can kind of create that chemistry and going forward but he's a big asset to our club so hopefully we can um, kind of keep it going with him.